Nairobi. Moving on, a 30-year-old disabled man has gone against all odds to transform from a street beggar to a ground nuts hawker within Nakuru City. Samuel Mwangi says his new path has seen him make more than 700 shillings per day and he's happy to have turned over a new leaf. And as Sakali Dalmas reports, he's a source of inspiration within his community. Listen in. Samuel Mwangi, aged 30 years old, crawls along Kenyatta Avenue in Nakuru holding a bucket full of groundnuts and candies. His day began long before we met him today to what has become his new norm. Mwangi poses to fulfill a customer's request to pick a packed groundnut and three sweets and leave 60 shillings inside the bucket. It is part of the path he took four years ago to change his life. He is now a small businessman in his own right. I was going to go to the street and beg. I was going to go to the street and beg. I was going to go to the street and beg. I was going to go to the street and beg. My dad was going to go to the street. Sana kwaona hiyo hali una unapata ile pesa kidogo ya kubega lakini sasa maneno ndo anakupa mingi. As a beggar, Mwangi was so popular in the Nakuru city streets that he had been nicknamed Mkora as residents believed he took advantage of his disability and used it to cunningly appeal to residents to drop him some coins. Mwangi lost his mobility when he was 3 months old. In adulthood, he used to beg along Kenyatta Avenue in Nakuru CBD. That's it. He recalls that he was only 12 when he realized that he was unwanted at their home in Maji, Missouri, Eldamaravin, Baringo County. He says he came to the city to look for his father, but due to his father's drinking challenges, an hygienic life, and the fact he demanded money from him, Mwangi, who could not provide it, left and looked for his aunt who treated him worse. <laughs> kakuja kumtafuta kutoka hapa sasa tukaanza kusumbua na yako sababu ya nataka ile pesa kidogo ambayo nimetoka kubeg hiyo ndio nataka nimgawia kwenda kunywa nilitoka kwa babangu nikakuja ukawa na dadake dadake akafanya sasa mimi ndio nitakuwa kitaka uchumi kwa sababu ananiambia mimi nakupa mahali pa kulala wewe unaenda unatafuta chakula yako na yangu pamoja na watoto wangu when the center could no longer hold at home he left and moved to Nakuru town in 2012 and continued begging. He made the cold streets his home at night for eight years before he took up the idea to start hawking groundnuts and sweets. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. I was able to get rid of my house. Mwangi started selling using his wheelchair, but he only managed to get about 200 shillings per day. He decided to ditch it in 2020 and started crawling within the streets of Nakuru looking for customers. Alafu sasa ninaanza kutembeza kama nimebeba kwa mdomo. Ina malengo nikiweza pata biashara nzuri ambayo nitakuwa nikikaa pale moja. Alafu hiyo biashara niwe napata at least customer wengi kidogo kwa sababu ya kwa sababu hii nyumba ninakaa inahitaji pesa. Alafu mimi nahitaji kula. Kuna mahitaji mengi nahitaji. Wito yangu ni kuhimiza wale mavwenzangu Asiwe wanatumia hii chance ya kuwa mlemavu alafu na bei kusumbua wale wengi. Lydia Awinja, Mwangi's neighbor, describes Mwangi as a hard working man who cares about children and his neighbors. Mwangi anaamka mapema hata kunishinda. Asubuhi mapata amechangamuka, ametoka, ameenda biashara zake, anauza njugu zake anarudi, tena Mwangi ni mtu roho safi sana, anapenda hata watoto. Naona hata mtoto wangu anakuja, umetoa wapi njugu nimepewa na Mwangi. 
Sasa mimi napenda muange kama jirani mwema na mlemavu mwenye anajituma. Sagali Dalmas, KTN News, Nakuru. Well, that story embodies the saying